Okay, we'll be coming um, to a topic in uh, Excel VBA which is very important. It's about loops. Okay, when you want to do something uh, repeatedly. Okay, so a loop. Okay, it's a programming structure where a block of code is repeatedly being executed for the number of time desires. Okay, now uh, how do you do a loop in Excel VBA? Okay, you can do it using a for next loop. Okay, uh, for example, okay, you want to write a certain statement or the above line one thousand times. Okay, or you can capture the you want to capture the marks of fifty students, where you want to iterate through uh, code to capture uh, the mark of a student fifty times. Okay, or rather fifty students. Okay, or you can use a do loop as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, for example, record the gender of the students that purchase food from this store in the next ten minutes. Okay. Now, using the phonics loop. Okay, you have an example. Okay, where I have to you're punished for doing something wrong, unfortunately, and you have to write the line. I must remember to bring my lecture notes one thousand times. Now, being a smart student, you do not literally write this statement one thousand times, but you want to use programming code to do it. What you can do is okay. Now, okay, you can do this. Okay declare a method and using the phonic structure for i now i is just like a counter variable okay where it counts how many times you have iterated so for i equal one okay to one thousand so i'm saying that for one to one thousand each time between that i will do this okay sounds uh, i comma two dot value i must remember to bring my lecture notes now what happens is this that I will start from one. So cell one um uh one row one column two the value will be I must remember to bring my lecture notes. Okay? And then in the next iteration I will be equal to two. So cell two two its value I must remember to bring my lecture notes. Then I will be equal to three. Three two I must remember to bring my lecture notes. So it goes by row by row by row in the second column. Okay, now let's illustrate this. Okay. We will have the actual code here. So sub okay, loop one. Okay. So for i equal one to one thousand. Okay. So now i comma two dot value. Okay. I must remember to bring my lecture notes. Oh dear. Okay. And uh, next. Right. Next I. Okay. And there we have it. Okay. So let's try running this. Let's go back to our Excel sheet. I say. This is what it happens all the way to 1000. Okay. 1000, 1000, 1000, and there you have it exactly 1000. Okay, so as what I've mentioned, okay, uh, we can run this in, in debugging mode and I can see more clearly. So run, okay, so, okay, oops. For i equals 1 to 1000, initially, i will be 1, okay? So, row 1, column 2, i must remember to bring my lecture notes, okay? Next i, now i will be 2, row 2, column 2, i must remember to bring my lecture notes, carry on, row 3, column 2, i must remember to bring my lecture notes, and so on and so on until it hits 1000, okay? So this loop is useful when you know how many times you want to iterate through. Okay, so this is using the for next loop. 